Mystery Sims, and we are back with more Dagger Rumba V3 Killing Harmony, and we're in the middle of the class trial, and I have no idea what happened the last time, because it's been like at least three days since I played this, because I have been obsessed with playing Code Realize, and I have not done anything else, so I'm like, I really need to get in here and record a couple of episodes of this, so that I'm not like behind and I'm not missing this, because I love this game too, don't get me wrong, but I'm just obsessed with Code Realize right now, so. Um, and, you know, at least if I'm gonna like leave off on this for a couple of days, it'd be easier if it's not in the class trial, because I'm gonna forget. Okay, there we go. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. I feel like we did this already. God damn it. No more pointless to issues. deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. Oh, sorry. I didn't think it was clicking. Sorry, guys. Because again, I we'll scare the culprit until they screw up. That's how a true class trial works. He has lost his goddamn marbles. Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit. Yep, I totally agree. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot debate to smoke out the liar. I love that he's fucking nuts. And how do you expect us to start this? Uh... If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. <laughs> Talk amongst yourself. I'll give you a topic. Fight amongst yourself. Uh, Our first topic is this! Ta-da! The Cubs pad. Not just any Cubs pad. Not just any one dude. given to our latest victim, Ryoma. <gasps> How did he... How does he remember who's who's investigating, who's? I went straight to his room to borrow it. So, it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Oh! He knows whose video it is because he saw it. Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! I don't think... One of them had Ryoma's motive. Well, wouldn't it... Mm -mm. I mean, we have, uh, what's his name's? Why can't I remember his goddamn name? There's too many K names. One of these like... two had it? Kaido. We have Kaidos. Oh my god. Fucking click. God, this game pisses me off. This is also why I don't like to play sometimes. We were doing good and for us to figure that out. We need to know who this motive video belongs to. Just, you know. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? Oh, dear God. I'm sorry. The motive video that Ryoma had, was it Kaido's or Maki's? Well, he had to have Maki's because we had Kaido's, right? So, I mean, um, uh, sorry, hold on a second. I should know the answer. Uh, I should know the answer. It's Maki. Oh my god, click! He had Maki. Because we had Kaido. It was Maki's motive video, right? Wow, how did you ever guess? Oh my god, click, click, Ooh, click. I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Yes, that's true. process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Uh, 
Is that true, Shuichi? Yes. Maybe. Oh my god, fuck my life! This is pissing me off. Yes. I'm really not gonna right. record at all anymore if this is... I... I got it to work where I open and I do, like, borderless, and then I close the game, and then I reopen it, and I do full screen, and then it usually works, but it's now being a cunt weasel, and I can't click, and it's pissing me off. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. Makes you look more suspicious. <laughs> and now it works. It's because I was yelling at it. said something! Hey, yell. This is how a debate should be. I mean, it gives you a reason to kill him. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Uh... Let's start this extreme death debate. Oh shit. Tear up the other's lies, rip each other apart! Can we not do that? Wait just a minute. Oh, thank God. What are you trying to... Quit screwing around! We don't need to debate who's a culprit! I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. I mean, that's exactly what the culprit would say. Which means... I can wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... But Maki isn't a culprit either! Huh? What? Huh? Really? Oh! <gasps> You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Wait! So wait, we had Kaido's video, Ryoma had Maki's video... No, that doesn't make any sense. I was gonna be like, maybe he knows because he had- Wait, no, he would then have to have had Ryoma's video. But why would it matter if he had Ryoma's video? You know what I mean? I don't know. Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. But how do you know? I, I, I'm confused here. It's I don't just know. a hunch I've got. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, a hunch? Are you being serious? I want to. You do know all our lives are on the line here. Right? I almost wanted to be Maki because then we can go into her room and figure out what the hell she's hiding. Because when she's dead, we can go in there, right? Like, hey, what's in your room? Poke around, you know. And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh. You don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. He's like a fucking nutbag. What? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. Look, at he looks like, ooh. Damn, idiot. A do a damned idiot. A do a damned idiot. Hey, don't call me an idiot. Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. What? She's like, uh, why? He's He just wants to sleep with her. That's all. What? I mean, he was hitting on Kaede. You believe in her? But based on what? Well, that's fine, Kaido. Just stay the fuck away from my waifu. Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Uh, that's not how this works. Whether I believe or not. Whether I want to believe or not. That's not how this works. That's not how any of it works. The theme for the day. I feel like I said that yesterday. That's the playing. only thing that matters. This game. So you do not have any evidence. Only baseless conjecture. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out whose underpants we should get next. Like while we're playing this, is that weird? Like because like I like Mew because she's fucking nutters, and I just. But at the same time, like 
Angie would be fun to talk to because I like doing her voice. It's fun. But I also want to see what kind of underpants Kibo wears. Like, what, is, what kind of underpants does a robot wear? I'm curious. I totally get where you're coming from, because I want to believe he's, in Himiko, too. I'm just feeling like he's got, like, some kind of, like, man thong on or something. I don't know. <laughs> want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot, after all. Oh my god. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. Oh, cool. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot! It really hurts my feelings. Huh, it's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. I mean, we did that, and we almost let the murderer away! It's absurdity. Total absurdity. Then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm the co- I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Oh my god, clicking thing. Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. You hear me banging my enter key? I'm gonna break my computer with how annoying this game gets. If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaido's feelings, too. It's like, I feel like I have to switch, like, oh, now the keyboard doesn't work, now let's go to the mouse. Oh, no, that doesn't work, now let's do my trackpad. Oh, now let's go back, like, I gotta just, like, I've been clicking with 14 different, like, things. I'm at this point thinking that, like, maybe I should get my, like, freaking game controller and plug the shit in it. Maybe it'll work better, I don't know. Yeah, it'll work out in the end, so... I'll believe in Maki as well. What? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? Yeah, I mean, in all seriousness. But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. I mean, that's true, I except for they have no alibis. Until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. True. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. Look how adorable he looks when he says that. Like, look at my pretty face and my giant bottom eyelashes. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, I'm not a real detective. But you sound like a 30 year old man. So I'm just saying. I <laughs> just look the stunned look on his face. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously! Enough's enough! Stop calling me an idiot! What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. I saw Kokichi do it! So I'll tell I you. I mean, Kaido do it. <laughs> oh? Tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. <gasps> Why? Oh my god, we'll never know. What? Ryoma? At nighttime? So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. But that's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. Well, then this explains why there was, like, the weird things on the windows. So. 
maybe the person they didn't drown him in the hmm. I'm trying to think like they could have somehow done a lever like, leave you to cross but wouldn't they technically be in the pool even if they were like if they put like a giant long plank or the tennis net remember that was down the cable was gone so if they put the cable somehow between the rooms and even if they tightrope walked across I mean this is just fucking insane but wouldn't they technically still be in the pool even if they didn't touch the floor of the pool or is that going to be one of those like it doesn't count they weren't on the floor like you know I don't know it's interesting if that's true then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki yeah, son of a bitch that's right everyone suspected them because they no have alibis for those times that means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. I mean, yes, you are. But yeah, we're fucking around. You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? Because it would make her look more suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally obvious. Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. No, she probably wouldn't have admitted it because it would make her look guilty. Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? It's true, we don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now, of all the times... If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? No, we don't need to save right now. I'll save after. We're fine. I know that's nice. Like, do you want to save? Yeah, I, I save every time I play, so. Now then. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the results. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? The hell are you saying? Well, wait a second. What result? The voting time hasn't happened yet. That's totally not his voice, but... <sighs> Yes, it has. Don't you remember, Monosuke? No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Monotaro. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, man, you're right. Silly me, I'm so forgetful. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect you all to get so worked up, or worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyway, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to Chapter 3. The hell are you saying? Well, wait a second. We don't know the culprit yet. Uh. Yeah, who killed Rantaro? <laughs> that was Chapter 1's case. How can you be this forgetful? <laughs> what the hell was the point of that? What is the point? I guess it's trying to tell you you're about halfway through, maybe. Another shocking truth revealed. Back to square one. Oh my god, why is it at the top now? It's confusing me. Look. <laughs> square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. <laughs> Look <how> he's... <laughs> I just noticed the thing over there for what's his face. It's like crossed out like the rest of them, like the students. Wow, what does that mean? I wonder if one of them dies each class it trial. It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument, like this one. Another pointless argument. I gotta pack the car, guys. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just going to throw out more lies. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I hate liars. Um, 
You're one to talk. I was gonna say. Yeah. Smoggy, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. Why? He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? Ooh. As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? Maybe because he had hers? He just assumed they still got If you went around asking at random, you might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cub's pad? Kokichi. Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? It would have to be someone who knew who had each pad. Yeah, Kokichi's the only one who knew. Oh, I have to select somebody. Boop, 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 boop. This guy. He's it's the only you. one to do. He took all the pads before the bug meat and breed were during it. Kokichi. Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video! So, you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? Although, when did he have time to watch all of them? I mean, I guess, I mean that's the assumption that he's the only one who would know, but... And how would he know which room to put what back in? They all look the goddamn same. So how would he know? He's like, oh, this was so-and-so. Like, did he go get one, watch it, and then like... I mean, because there were only a few minutes, but... When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. Or lying about thinking dirty thoughts. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Oh, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motive video in return. Uh huh. Interesting. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. Hmm. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. And if it is, it still makes you a suspect. It just adds more suspects to the pool again. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? Yeah, she told I didn't us she's anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. I mean, that's true. Yeah, she told suspected. everyone. What for? Being the last person to see him at nighttime. Hello, where before he died. Rumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. And that's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? To sound suspicious. Yes, of course. It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. I mean, seriously, girl. Jesus, we're all gonna die. Whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! 
No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his Moda video? You had to have been. Is that really important? I mean, sorta. Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. Uh, yes, yeah, there you go. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? I mean, here's the thing. There's no point in lying. Because if he says, no, oh, we're going to blame Maki, and then we're all going to die. You know what I mean? So you would want to find the culprit, so. You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Exactly. Exactly. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryuma. Just as I thought. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was going to wait until we hosted, like, a movie screening party. I just checked who had whose so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm. Hmm. I see. And it would be like, oh, that's Koki. Oh, this is so-and-so. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. Possibly. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. I mean, it's a possibility. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? No, just saying you're a possible suspect. I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie or n not lie? She's not lying! Can't uh, you tell just by looking at her? Come on up to some kind of debate thing or like a hangman's really gambit or something. Easy, we'd be done by now. No. This is a world of lies and betrayal. Go. It breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. We haven't had a lot of those actually in this part, which is really odd. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, yeah, a liar like me knows their own kind. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during nighttime. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. Oh, fuck. And I... I said I would believe in Kaido, and that means believing in Maki. And that means I have to do it. I need us all on the same page. Okay. I have to change where this argument is going, just like Kaede did. Okay, fuck. Let's see what we get. Alright. Non-stop debate. So we get... Monokuma file, Gonta's account, Maki alone. It's I'm probably Maki. The previous night. Okay. What a load of crap! Oh, how do we... Wait. Maki only see... Okay. At night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Oh. Nope. Did funny. anyone see those two together? Mm. Surely they would have come forward already. 
If no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! British, hold on. I want to see, I gotta read. Maki was standing guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm room only during nighttime. I mean, it's gotta be her thing, but it's like, I don't think that this doesn't prove. He's talking about proving about the meeting. This doesn't prove it, though. I mean, but she lied about... Wait, are... How do you... So are we supposed to turn this into a lot? Oh, I forgot I forgot how to fucking do that. Like, switch it and, like, do the I'm gonna argue with... The, oh, escape. I'm in the wrong button. I can't say the two of them met now. That's too obvious a lie. So if I can convince him that Maki being alone was a lie. Okay, so I have to, yeah, I have to turn that into a lie bullet. I then. met with Ryoma the previous night. What a load of crap! No, okay, that's how you do it. Maki okay. only see Ryoma at night? Okay, I'm just, I couldn't figure yes, out how to do it, so. I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can Okay, I was like, I missed the B point because I was. It's too hard. It's too hard to hit the thing when you're trying to. Yeah. They met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. I don't know how we're gonna do that, but I mean. Oh, please explain. Look at him. Oh, please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. I mean, I'm not really sure... Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Oh, are we fibbing? Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. Kaito's like, what? Why are we lying? We I don't get that. people talking. People talking? Here's what I don't get, though. I mean, I get it. He's like, I have to, you know, prove... I know if I can prove that her saying she was alone was a lie. Okay, so we gotta say that that's a lie. Like, we gotta turn that... But I don't understand why he's lying about it, because it doesn't make any sense to me. We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. Really? You couldn't tell this was a real buff? But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. Kato's like, uh, that didn't happen. What? Why do we do this in each one of these cases? We always have to lie about something to get to the truth. I mean, it seems weird to me. Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute! If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? I didn't think about it. Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. Like, we didn't know it was Ryoma. Even though it's a lie. I had no reason to bring it up. I had no reason to think it was Ryoma. Now, now. We don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. But then if they were talking to Maki, if someone came, oh, I, 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 it was me, I was talking to her. Then you, that would make you look like a suspect as well. Why are you saying you were talking to Maki? And also, you would just be enhancing her, al you would just be admitting that her alibi is and the truth. Did so. not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? No, why? It wasn't our business. I mean, that's a bullshit lie. If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. That's rude. What are your damn business? 
We are still part of a killing game after all. That doesn't look shady and fuck or anything. Oh, chill out. Why the scary face? Like, ooh, let me go sneaking and hiding and like who's talking to who and like being creepy like oh, that. My bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna wrap this part of here. Um, I was like gonna do it after we had the little whatever debate thing was coming up because I knew it was coming up and I'm like, ooh. So, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this part up here and we'll continue in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Oh, <laughs>